Hey everybody, guess who's back? It's the Banga. After two long weeks, I'm finally here to with yet another Let's Play. 80200X. Household robots rock and roll were created by Master Robot Designer, Dr. Light, and were enjoying their peaceful days. Then one day, the industrial robots went all over the world and went on a porn shopping spree or rampage and the world fell into total chaos. As a mad scientist, Dr. Wily was behind the nefarious deed, but he didn't know what to do. Rock having... Having... Uh, a strong sense of justice volunteer to be converted into a fighting robot thus the super robot Mega Man was born how you become a fighting robot wearing pink shorts I have no idea and his eyes finally open yay Mega Man shattered Dr. Wily's plans three times, and world peace has been maintained so far, but history repeats itself. Dr. Coxnack, or Cossack, a mysterious scientist, has invented eight powerful robots and sent them after Mega Man. Mega Man starts for the battle again, this time equipped with a new powerful new Mega Buster! Exclamation point, exclamation point. And yeah, that's Mega Man 4. Talk about a pretty kick-ass opening. Uh, let's see which robot mask we're going for this time. Uh, let's see, uh, Barrel Man. And if you're wondering what in ship Mega Man got infected with this time, from now on, every time he opens a battle with a robot master, he must use a line from Simpsons character, Ralph Wiggum. And you know who Ralph is if you watch The Simpsons regularly, like I do. And yet again, more animals to kill, so I'm not surprised there. I hope you enjoyed my last shorty there, that video I made last night about uh, animal abuse and Michael Vick's duck hunt. It was pretty controversial, but... I felt I wasn't stepping on too many toes with it. I thought I got an important message across. There's a big gap there, so I think I'm just gonna use Rush Jet there. I mean, Rush Coil. Sorry, it's been two weeks, so I am feeling a little rusty with my Let's Play skills and shit, so... Try and bear with me now. I'm trying to get back into focus. Yeah, I'm back. Once again, I'm back on the unemployed list. My position with TD Waterhouse has come to an end. Whatever that B thing is, I wonder what it does. Hey, where'd I go? I was like, yeah, I'm in the middle of Barrowman's Lair. Oh, cool, thanks. I think there was a shortcut there. That helped. Hey, it's the bats from Woodman's Lair back in Mega Man 2. I never thought I'd see you guys again. Maybe you can take more hits this time. Like, you've gotten stronger. Watch out for the spikes there, because like in all our Mega Mans, you will die instantly if you touch them. Oh, when are these bats going to drop anything good? not. Oh well, at least when I grabbed that B thing, I got back to full health, which was nice because I was running pretty low there. Blue flames? What the hell? This is some really fucked up tomb. If you can call it a tomb. If tombs were infested with robots, anyway, but... That's a really fucked up grave site. Those heads will mess you up there. Like, how'd you get another head there? Hey, I'm at Feral Man's Lair already. Like, that was fast. Alright, we're gonna see what this guy does. Hey, I'm green. I'm special! Oh, 
Oh, that was fucked. Dude, Barrel Man's pretty strong. Ow. Luckily, when he does his charged up attack, it's very easy to avoid. I don't think I'm gonna kill him here unless I'm lucky. And the regular attacks seem to only do one point of damage. And I die. Well, let's take him out again. I'm still fucking special! Ow! Oh, come on! Like, he's not so bad, but when he jumps after you, it's kind of hard to avoid, because you never know how far he's going to jump. Oh, come on. I'll be fair. See, how can I avoid that? Uh, I'm gonna get you this time. Like, if he keeps shooting me with his power-up shot, at least I won't have a problem there. Why he's pointing at the sky, that I'll never know. I'm not as special as I was before. All thanks to you, you no good bastard. Oh. This is so unfair! Like he's pointing to the sky saying he's number one for some reason. I did not think pharaohs did that. Like, what the hell? It wouldn't be so bad if his jumping didn't seem to lock into ya. Like that. It's like you gotta be on the move all the time. And it pisses me off. The doctor said I wouldn't have too many nosebleeds if I just kept my finger out of there. Ow. the third or the fourth try. I think it was the fourth try at this guy alone. This is just the first guy! There's still seven more after him! Look, if I'm having trouble with just this one guy, just imagine with the other seven. Luckily, I got the charge shot, so I can do more damage if I just hold the B button. Provided you got the patience to do it, and finally, it's over! Yes! Oh, yay! Ow, oh, he hit the ceiling there. Oh, let's see what I got this time. Oh, that's pretty cool cinematic. You got Pharaoh shot. Oh, cool, thanks. Like, that'll help me. Too bad I can't jump like him. Got enough time to start one more, so we'll go with Ringman. Uh, he looks pretty cool. He looks like Quick Man, only without the horns taken out. Or Metal Man, whatever he looks more like. Okay, like these things will disappear as soon as you walk on them. You gotta remember that. Like, why is it all of a sudden I'm in a day area when I was? Facing Pharaoh Man at night, like Mega Man's gonna have some jet lag after this. Like, holy shit! This is gonna suck for him. What's Saturn doing here? Yeah, an extra life. Cool, thanks. I can use that. Climbing up these mysterious ladders. Alright, the turrets. Shot there. Ow. Uh, take you out. You drop nothing. You know, I'm gonna call it part of a let's play here. I hope you all enjoyed it. This is the Bang of signing off saying goodbye and Godspeed.